Hi there folks, my name's NovaWing24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your one-stop location for your simulation release news and goings on from the week that was. So here we are on Sunday the 15th of October 2017 for another episode and yes, uh, obviously because I'm bringing you this, yes I did survive my Spartan weekend. Uh, I barely survived the week that followed it however, I, I got through my Spartan race with barely, with only a couple of uh, grazes and a couple of mystery bru bruises, uh, but when I got back I was just going for a nice easy bike ride and that ended in disaster anyway, but neat to suffice it to say, although I am in pain I am here bringing you the news releases this week. Alright, so on to, on to exciting things and releases this week. We're going to get started with an old favourite that has been released now for uh, Pretty Lockheed Martin's prepared version 4. That is Fly Inside. Now, I've uh, had a chance to uh, use Fly Inside, which of course is the virtual reality uh, flight extension for the ESP family. Um, now, I've had a chance to use the, VR, the uh, Fly Inside with VR headsets at Flight Sim Cons previously. Um, don't have it yet because I don't own a VR headset. Um, However, this release actually surprised me. Uh, now, this is the uh, this has this has been available for Flying Side. Flying Side has been available for F uh, FSX and Prepared um, version three for a, a while, um, but they've recently come out with. Uh, version 4, um, the ones uh, with the latest version to support version 4 and also they now support X-Plane as well. But I'm kind of wondering why they bought it out for Lockheed Martin's prepared V4 because of the fact that VR is supported natively inside of prepared. Uh, you don't need a extra program to make it VR compatible. So I'm kind of curious as to why this was even done. Um, now, admittedly, uh, interestingly enough, it is also one of the lower cost ones on the site, sort of like a middle level when it comes to cost range. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm just sort of curious, what is the difference here? What does it give you that you, the out of the platform uh, doesn't have? Like all the features it lists are stuff that Prepared does in VR out of the box or out of the download. So anyway, um, so yes, yeah, so those who do use it, if you can tell me why you would use this and not the default uh, VR experience in uh, Prepared V4, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you because as I said, not having a VR headset, I can't test it out myself, um, but I'd love to know why. But anyway, if you do want to upgrade your VR experience, um, potentially upgrade, I should say that, uh, your upgrade experience for Prepared V4 uh, and with a fly inside, you can pick this up from their website, coming in at $27 US dollars or your regional equivalent available now from the Fly Inside website. Alrighty, and continuing in the vein with uh, Lucky Martin's Prepared V4 this week. So this is a few updates. Of course, we saw the latest version of Prepared, um, of latest uh, update of that get released this week. Uh, of course, with the release of uh, Prepared V4 4.1. Um, long story short, I'm not going to go through this line by line. It's a whole shit ton of bug fixes, uh, really what it is. Uh, what it does though is it does add a couple of new things. So it does is that it enhances the VR experience. Um, including added a helmet mounted sight uh, for the F-16 and win VR mode. Uh, it also supports uh, 4K uh, textures now as well by default, so they've upgraded again and uh, tweaked a few things as well. Um, a couple of interesting things, probably more geared towards the platform, the Professional Plus sort of version, um, including sort of like health indicators and stuff like that of aircraft and um, uh, and AI, but yeah, otherwise it's just got a whole shit ton of bug fixes really is what it is. Uh, interestingly, for the most part as it is with um, prepared uh, with the update, you simply uninstall and reinstall the client. However, a couple of these updates um, and enhancements that they've made to the default aircraft do require you to reinstall the content component as well. Uh, so just so you're aware of that, so when you are downloading just uh, read through the full list of, I do recommend that you read through the full list of updates before you make a decision of which way you want to go, but that is all available now. Uh, most of the major developers have already um, made their stuff compatible with v with 4.1, uh, including uh, uh, FSU IPC, uh, Orbix, and Chase Plane. They're all majorly they've all been updated now to be fully compatible with 4.1, so you're good to go. All right, if you do want to grab that uh, update, you can just simply log into your Lockheed Martin account um, over at uh, prepared.com, uh, and you can sign in there and download the content using your keys as always. 
Alrighty, continuing on with the prepared journey. Of course, we are talking release with still the Aerosoft, with still the latest release of their one of their updated sceneries. So, uh, as uh, as uh, as Aerosoft's uh, tendency, they have d done a branching update service. So they have updated their uh, Mega Barcelona Airport. So they have updated it now to be now is as I said, now compatible with prepared version four, and they've also updated their FSX and prepared version two and three version now. Uh, so you have choice of either Mega Airport Barcelona Evolution if you are an FSX and prepared version 3 user uh, or you can have the Mega Airport Barcelona Professional uh, for those of you using uh, prepared version 4. So of course this comes to us from the public from the developer of Simwings uh, very very solid production here got some beautiful uh, looking textures and sceneries here uh, basically they've gone through they've re completely overhauled the update fully updated all the buildings and all the locations as to where they appear at the start of 20, uh, 2017. Uh, you've got a fully updated air act, uh, FCAD and AirAct cycle including uh, up to 1708 which is pretty cool, it's pretty recent actually. Uh, updated auto gen for the surrounding region as well as the actual internal thing. Uh, in detailed internal internals of terminals as well as including terminal 1 with the glass to the glass walls there. Really cool. I love it when developers do that. It's just that's the kind of attention to detail I really like. Anyway, animated jetway models uh, using the default Control J not requiring uh, other third party products. Uh, safe gates include pre rendered sh uh, shadowing and night lighting as well as fully compatible with dynamic lighting for the version 4 version uh, for the prepared version 4 version I should say oh my god that's like seriously a tongue twister it really is um, Siri and uh, your, your photo reel imagery has also been updated as well to be uh, to give you a bit more up to date life for the airport and the surrounding areas as well so uh, a pretty comprehensive update for this one considering the last one is a few years old uh, now here's the interesting part of course what we always talk about we always talk about the upgrade cost uh, so if you are upgrading um, from the previous FSX version if you are upgrading to the new FSX and prepared version 3 version, um, you don't save a lot. I'll, I'll be honest, you really don't. Um, it's like the, the full, if you're a new owner, a new user to the Mega Airport at Barcelona series, uh, for the FSX and prepared version 3 cost, it'll cost you uh, around about uh, 25 euros. Uh, if you're coming in straight into the prepared version 4, it'll cost you about 28 euros. Um, so you can do the conversions yourself for your visual equivalents. Uh, now, if you are upgrading from the FSX, version if you are upgrading to the Mega Airport at Barcelona the FSX version it will cost you 20 euros and if you're upgrading to the um, uh, prepared version 4 version it'll cost you 23 euros so um, you're paying a lot for this update just just saying this isn't like the usual sort of five six euro update this this is a significant update and you're getting a fairly significant update of the content as well um, I would have thought if you're charging that much to update, I probably would have sort of bundled it together so you here have both. But anyway, again, a uh, publisher's decision as always, um, so always got to respect those. As I said, if you do want to pick those up, or if you're new to that, that is all now available from the Aerosoft store, uh, or available from your flight sim favourite flight sim retailer, available now. Alrighty, moving on. Of course, we saw the release, latest release of the guys over from the guys over at FS Dream Team. So they have released their latest airport, which is Louisville International KSDF. Um, now they've released that one for the entire ESP platform range, uh, including FSX all the way up to prepared V4. So coming in at one price, this one. Uh, so uh, coming in, speaking of price, it's coming in at thirty US dollars. Available from their website. Uh, basically, again, we all know Dream Team. Dream Team do some amazing quality stuff. Uh, they really do. Like I. I am a personal favourite of the Hawaiian airports. I really do. I just I've got their full Hawaiian collection. Like I absolutely love it. I really do. Anyway, moving on. Side side note. Um, so yes, uh, you can buy it and pick it up now. As I said, fully customised uh, and um, ground textures, fully detailed uh, and remapped down ground textures for the airport, customised for the airport. Fully DX 1011, uh, 9, 10, 11 compatible, so it doesn't matter which platform you're using. Um, they've got the customized uh, UPS Whirlport cargo loading system, which is actually animated, so you actually get to see what sort of we're using, which is cool. Uh, full SOD and GSX integration as well, which is really cool, always cool to have straight out of the box. Um, and they've taken full advantage of the various different platforms as well. So even though it is, um, you know, coming into one price for all platforms, they do customize it based on your install, so they get full advantage of all the advanced material properties. Um, 
um, and all the advanced lighting effects available from each of the platforms, which is really, really cool. Um, they've got they've noted on here there's in, the, the intensive use of log techniques to in order to offer the best possible performances. Not quite 100% sure what that means, but hopefully that means that it's not going to be quite the frame rate killer that sometimes FSD, FSDT uh, sceneries can be. Either way, it's looking absolutely stunning with some very highly detailed um, representations of the airport, uh, looking like it is updated as it was here at the start of 2017. And fully detailed, highly detailed textures uh, and, and uh, detailed surrounding area of the airport as well. So looking pretty damn awesome. Uh, they're also co combining this from a sale with a bit of a sale as well. So if you do want to pick it up, uh, especially if you're new to the FS uh, Dream Team team, uh, then you can not only if you pick it up, this time, you can also get a 40% discount on any other FSDT product that you purchase alongside it with it. Uh, just use the code KSDF. KSDF launch uh, as your discount code when checking out so you can get 40% off something else. As I said, I personally really liked the, uh, I, I'm just going to plug it, and you know, I really like their rendition of Honolulu and Kona International, just saying in Hawaii, I love that, love that part of the world, don't know if I'll be back for personal reasons, but I absolutely love that part of the world, it is amazing. Anyway, uh, as I said, go ahead and head that over to the FS Dream Team website, pick that one up, available now. Alrighty, moving into more, continuing on with more general flight sim releases into aircraft this week. So we saw the release of the Just Flight DHC-3 Otter. So um, we're getting a bit of a nostalgic in the sort of uh, aircraft releases over the last few months. Uh, so because we saw recently, we saw Milvis' release of the uh, De Havilland Canada 2 uh, Beaver. And now, of course, we have the De Havilland Canada 3 Otter. Now, this is not the Twatter, as, uh, as it is known, or the Twin Otter. This is the original Otter, so the original with a G giant R1340 radial engine at the front, like this thing was huge, massively overpowered, but um, because of its reliability, um, it got it became very, very popular operating in remote uh, and regional areas of the world, especially in the Northwest Territories in Canada, uh, because of the fact that it is so flexible, it is so versatile, so it is perfectly at home operating on wheels, floats, skis, amphibious and in short takeoffs and landings and runways and um, forest clearings, like it is just an absolutely incredible aircraft. Uh, I've, nearly 500 of these things were built between 1951 and 67, and they still fly to this day um, with some modernised avionics, of course. But yes, it is an absolutely incredible. So uh, it's really a legacy of uh, you know, this, as I said, it really definitely is the pre the predecessor to the Twin Otter in not just sort of name but in spirit as well. Like it really sort of set the bar of what to have. Canada are good for, um, are very good at designing, which is short takeoff and landing utility aircraft. Like they are incredibly good at designing those types of aircraft. Anyway, sorry, I digress. I I, I just love the, the the like that series of aircraft. I really do. Anyway, moving on. But yes, as I said, this is a really really high detailed uh, version of this one. Now this one comes uh, coming in available um, at uh, 31 euros um, from the Just Flight website or from your favorite from some retailer. Uh, now it does come available in FSX um, and uh, prepared versions as well, so you do get a few different options that you can choose. Uh, now it does come all as the same installer as well, so you don't have to purchase something separate if you're different depending on what platform you're using. It's one purchase, you get all the platforms included, which again I like. Well done, thank you guys. Um, and yeah, as I said, it's just an incredibly highly detailed metal model of this one. So it's used uh, real uh, real world aircraft plans notes, publications, and access to a real aircraft. Um, you've got multiple different anim animations. Um, you get uh, multiple different configurations, including all of the, uh, you get uh, sort of like the standard wheel, Tundra tire, uh, you get the floats, skis, uh, and a amphibious sort of wheel floats version as well. So you get all the different options available to you included with this and it just looks really damn cool. You get a choice of two cockpits as well including just the basic original classic cockpit that it was, was first produced with um, or a modern one including a, uh, a modern digital radio, uh, digital radio, digital autopilot and a GNS 430 included. Uh, as I said like this is a pretty cool pretty awesome sort of product it just looks amazing it really does and yeah I just I love this aircraft I really do. Anyway, uh, but yeah, this is it. This is available now. Coming in, uh, as I said, at uh, 31 euros uh, or 38 US dollars available now from the Just Flight website or available from your favorite, favorite flight sim retailer available now. All right, moving into other releases this week. Well, oh, this is another one of those releases where I, I, I'm covering this because it's a release. Anyway, okay, so we have Take Off the Flight Simulator. Oh, okay. Um, this is an iOS port, straight up. 
um, of a title that is over a year old. Um, that's it. End, end of conversation. <laughs> like that is it. Um, the the original mobile device version costs uh, two bucks, um, and then you purchase additional aircraft inside the app. Uh, this version appears to be a complete version, coming in at seven US dollars. Uh, but as I said, it's an iOS port. Don't expect too much. It's yeah. Um, it claims that it gives you 50 exciting missions from sightseeing to rescue operations with uh, 24 airplanes, airplanes uh, with realistic 3D cockpits. Um, ex oh, explore and enjoy the open world of Hawaii in free flight mode. So I'm guessing that maybe you do still has internal things you got to buy. Fly to fi 21 famous airports around the world. Don't think it's going to model the entire globe inside of a, a, an app. Anyway, um, so not sure if it's going to be a thing on a PC. Possibly should have stuck with uh, with an iOS device. Um, but for those of you who are desperately looking for an A380, it has an A380 in it. There you go. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, that's it. So that's uh, take off the flight simulator uh, or the pretend simulator. Anyway, uh, available on now. Frost Steel, 1981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981981
and you control all your staffing uh, and upgrade your various facilities and whatever as well. So it's pretty stock standard when it comes to uh, to, to manage to sports manage, sports team management simulations. Uh, but again, looking not too bad. As I said, the, the interesting part is that it is actually officially licensed. Uh, the one thing I must say is I don't think that the um, uh, stadiums. I think the stadiums modeling is fairly generic. I don't think they've actually modeled actual stadiums. That's probably the one thing that's a bit of a. Um, I sort of noticed and thought it was a bit odd. But anyway, that's just uh, probably neither here nor there. Maybe I've just been spoiled by Flight Sim for too long. Maybe I have. I don't know. Anyway, if you are wanting to do this one, uh, normally uh, coming in at 40 US dollars uh, on Steam, currently on a 20% launch discount. Uh, so coming in at 32 US dollars available now on Steam. All right, and moving away, moving now, and of course, into sticking with ground level, moving into the world of trains. Uh, we saw two releases uh, for the train simulator for Duffer Games Train Simulator this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we saw the release of uh, again of one of my favourite parts of the world, Alaska. Uh, so we saw the release of the Alaska Railroad Anchor Anchorage to Seaward. Um, by the way, if you ever do it, in, if for flight simmers who have stuck with the video, <laughs> the new video this far, it's a really cool thing to actually follow that in, um, especially if you've got uh, Orbix's sort of scenery for that area. It's a really cool actual flight to do something low and slow and just airport hop down this rail route. Anyway, sorry, I digress. Back to the train sim stuff. Uh, so yes, this is the Alaska, the Anchorage to Seaward, uh, Seaward route. So basically, this is a, a, a route steeped in history. It really is. Like, it's it, it's, 100, it's 114 miles <clears throat> Um, included here, uh, as well as um, uh, uh, a small sort of sideline, uh, sort of 12-13 uh, mile line as well, included this here, once you get to Alaska. Uh, it's an absolutely spectacular countryside, it really is. Um, it goes through, and it's, it, what this one particularly tackles is it tackles the um, the type of traffic control um, system that has to be done in such a rugged and sort of, you know, um, remote part of the world. Um, so their direct traffic control system, and that's been fairly fully detailed and fully accurate um, model, including the AI block system is included with this as well so really interesting really highly detailed with this one as well um, looks absolutely amazing uh, you got a whole heap of uh, different mainline switching operations um, through some beautiful but challenging topography as well um, fully detailed uh, rendition of Anchorage as well and the uh, and the port facilities at Seawood and Whittier, uh, Whittier as well uh, you get two trains included with this one as well you get the Alaska Railroad Electromotive um, SD70 Mac and the GP38-2 uh, you also get a whole heap of um, uh, sort of freight equipment including flatbed containers hoppers Beam cars, um, timber timber flats, which of course the timber industry is very important in that part of the world, uh, and you get nine uh, career scenarios as well included for this one, including um, uh, four for the GP38, and you get a five for the ST70M. So really cool, really fascinating. As always, fully compatible with quick drive scenarios um, and Steam Workshop scenarios as well. So. Yeah, if there's ever a route that I'm thinking of fitting up for Train Simulator, this would probably be it. Because as I said, like, I know from flight simming, it is an absolutely spectacular part of the world. Uh, and I think it would be the, the, the uh, guys over at Train Sim have actually done a real justice, they really have. So, mm, there you go. Anyway, if you do want to pick this one up, coming in at $40, US available now on Steam. And finally, rounding out the flight simulation release news for this week, uh, we saw the release of the uh, another uh, train simulator release, another from the uh, Train Sim Pro series. We saw the release of the Great Western Rail Large Prairie Steam Locomotive set. So, um, this is a, a family um, of trains, um, uh, the the Prairie range, uh, which was uh, included sort of uh, three main designs. Uh, and now these would be interested uh, introduced in the early nineties. Hundreds um, would actually soldier on all the way through until the end of steam um, as a commercial uh, operation in the United Kingdom in the 1960s. So uh, a very very robust, well built, and, and upgraded uh, set of uh, locomotives that would uh, uh, very uh, very 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 useful, very uh, iconic. But sadly, almost none of them survived in, into preservation. Sadly, um, however, the the guys that can now be preserved for us digitally uh, by the guys over at Victory Works uh, who have taken original plans and actually modeled the entire family. So uh, the 5100s, uh, the 5101s, the 6100s and the 8100s have all been fully modeled for this as well, which look absolutely amazing. It looks absolutely amazing. Very highly detailed of versions of this one, uh, including fully simulated um, wheel slip physics and effects, simulated st uh, steam chest and uh, train pipe and reservoir vacuum braking, uh, cylinder cock management, boiler uh, management, uh, realistic injector control, um, and like 
incredibly detailed like sound as well have gone synchronized sounds have gone into this to the point where you can actually hear the like shovel going like shoveling the coal in like that's standard that's cool anyway um now it does have a bit of a learning curve as well so you can use it although it is part of the pro series and generally a bit more uh, challenging it does have a simplified, uh, simpl uh, simplified mode as well, um, so if you are just starting out and learning, you can. Uh, as long with the train, you, with the um, is it the uh, four different uh, train classes you get included here as well, with various liveries um, and logos, which is really cool. Uh, you also get a whole heap of ho ho rolling stock suitable for various areas throughout it, through its entire life history. As I said, that was a very long-lived family of uh, family of trains, uh, almost sixty ye over sixty years. So yeah, really long trains. Anyway. Uh, you you also get four career scenarios included for this one, um, but as usual, uh, we as we see with Train Simulator, they often link it together with other with other content, uh, and you will need the Riviera line in the 50s exit at Kingsway uh, if you do want to make a full uh, use of the four challenging career scenarios included in this one, which is uh, available for these uh, these trains. So yes, uh, and this one is that you do want, pick, do want to pick this one up. It's coming in available now, coming in on Steam at 20 US dollars or your original equivalent available now. Alright folks, that does wrap up the No Right for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these videos and want to see more. And of course, as always, you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter. Just search NoverWing24. Alright folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe guys to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.